Hey everybody, it's your boy P.F. Chang We're here with another video. Yes, I know I kind of made one yesterday, and now I'm making one today. Well, there's a simple explanation for that. It's the fact that today is Valentine's Day. And I know, I know how it's kind of cliche to make a video on Valentine's Day, but you know what? I have a girlfriend, so of course I'm going to make this video for her. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. Y'all can see my nappy ass hair. Okay. So, this video is not going to be just about Valentine's Day. It's not going to be just the Valentine's Day special. It's also to talk about yesterday's Nintendo Direct. For one, I was pretty impressed with the lineup. There was a few that I didn't really... I was like, eh, I don't know. Kind of not my style there, Nintendo. Um, but, you know, Super Mario Maker 2, I'm actually kind of happy for that game to come out because when I played Mario Maker the last time, that was on the Wii, Wii U, maybe? I think that was on the Wii U that I played Mario Maker. I wasn't really impressed very much, only because I was making levels, not playing them. So, this time, sorry guys, my, uh, my eye loves to stick to its eyelashes. Okay, so for Super Mario Maker 2, when that when that shit comes out, you better be, uh, you better know that your boy here is going to be playing the 100 Mario Challenge. Thing is though, I'm not going to be playing it alone. I'm actually going to see if Landon would like to stream it on Twitch. So, if you guys are able to get on Twitch, by all means, check us out at Lando Plays Games. And there you have it. Um, another thing is the Bloodstained game actually really caught my attention there. I, um, I actually want to play that game now. Like, if it's almost kind of like a Xenoblade Chronicles, then yes, I'd like to play it. Because I never really got into a full-on Xenoblade Chronicles game. Landon, however, changed my mind just a slight bit and got me interested in playing the ones on the Switch. So, I might start with that one, with the Bloodstain first. I might even go back and get Xenoblade Chronicles X. Or... Chronicles 2. I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm, I might go ahead and do that. I don't know. It just depends on what I'm feeling at the time. Now, boy howdy. Let, let's go ahead and get ourselves into Link's Awakening for the Switch. Holy... Shit. That is some, uh, that's some good stuff right there. For one, they made it into a little chibi version. So, yes, I'm happy about that. I love the chibis. They're so great. And I love them to death. And I just want to keep on loving them until they pop. Yes. I, that was a sick, that was a, twisted sense of humor that right there but yes I adore the chibi versions of video games do I always no 
I mean, you literally have to sell it to me. You have to sell the detail and graphic to me for me to buy a game with a chibi character. For the fact of the Pokemon games, I mean, yeah, you get you get kind of tired of the chibis every once in a while. I've been playing quite a bit of Pokemon games ever since Diamond and Pearl. I have played Pokemon games. No, wait, no. Yeah, I was third gen. Okay, so I played ever since Ruby and Sapphire and Gold and Silver. I played those games. I played all the way up from there to the newest one of Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And when it is that you freaking when you keep playing as chibis you get you get tired of it a lot so when they made sun and moon and ultra sun ultra moon i was actually very glad about that because those they actually made them proportionately sized so yeah that that was actually happy times for me so Nintendo if you pl if you're hearing this please make the next mainstream game where they're proportionally sized again because that actually was awesome and honestly I can't wait to see what they pull out of their asses for the uh, next three starters that's uh, that's gonna be fun I mean seeing as how they made Decidueye I don't know if they can beat that like that that's kinda hardcore and yes if you couldn't tell I'm a Decidueye main okay I main mostly grass starters sometimes I get the fire type starters sometimes I start with the water type so that means yes I have a Brion named Phil. I mean, you can't blame me either because, for one, the first form that it has, Poplio, it looks like a boy. So I had to name him Phil just because that name clicked with it. And plus, it reminds me of Philoctetes from. Hercules. Good times. Okay, so enough with that. Back on subject. So, yes, okay, the fact is that they made the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake, and I've never played that game, so I wouldn't know. I... I played from the Ocarina of Time to now to the Breath of the Wild I played all the way up through there except for the fact of Skyward Sword I have not played that game yet um, but the fact of it is that they made him into a little cute chibi and made it almost like a little toy land it's beautiful I mean I've never seen such a great looking game in my life that looks so clean and so wonderfully smooth in its graphics so yes I'm very happy about that and the fact is here's what caught me off guard Goombas, Chain Chomps, and Gordos. Can someone please explain why those three are in that game? Please, I would appreciate that. The fact of it is that
the only reason I can think of why they would put those three different enemies in a Legend of Zelda game is because I believe Link's Awakening is probably like the second or third game in the series. And so, since that was created right alongside Mario, because of course, you know, Mario and Link are about almost the same age. Um, so, if you think about it, that was my shoe. It's like really wet outside and real muddy. So I just had to clean my shoes off. And now they're squeaky. So I promise you that was just my shoe. It was not some person screaming. Okay. So. The only thing I can think of is. With those two being created almost alongside each other. They probably added the two enemies from Mario along with the Gordos from Kirby. Um, I can only assume that they put that in there just so Legend of Zelda would be known as one of the main franchises to Nintendo. I don't know for sure. I'm just going off speculations and thoughts. Um... So, there's that game that's on my list to get. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm very happy for that game to come out. Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. I'm going to play that. Um, let's see here. Well, there's also the fact of... Animal Crossing, there it is. I had to think of it for a second there. Um, but Animal Crossing. I'm also looking forward to that game because I've never played an Animal Crossing game before. So, the fact of it is that it's coming to Switch. It makes it a lot easier. I mean, to me, I haven't played ever for Animal Crossing. I've never played an Animal Crossing game in my life. So, most likely I'm just getting this game for me and Bethany because she loves Animal Crossing. So, that's a lot of similarities. Just never mind what I just said. Literally, it's, it's no concern, nothing. Um, but back to the subject of Animal Crossing, it, it's kind of gotten to be kind of an interesting game, so I feel like I should give it a try, and of course Bethany, she already has a profile on my Switch, so she can go ahead and play it if she wants as well. Um, let's see. The only other thing I can say for that... Let's see, what other games do they have? Oh, right, the Damon X Machina. Oh my god, I'm so good in that game. It looks beautiful. Oh shit, they even said that they were having a demo. Well, I better hurry up and download that demo because I want to play it a little bit. I want to be able to play those four missions and then be able to get the controls down. Oh, hey, Bubby. I love you, too. You're so soft. Yes, you are. You're such a soft boy. Yes. Okay, fine. Ah, such a spoiled little boy. Yep, here's my bubba. Jackie, look at the camera. Look, look. 
Willow, stop it. You're gonna get him riled up again. Bubby. Right here. Yeah, you see all you see all the people out there. Mwah. I love you. Mwah. Uh, uh, freaking squeaks and freaking groans. You're funny, Bubba. My God, the beady eyes! Why do you guys stare at me with the beady eyes? Jeez. Okay. So, but I believe that, you know, it's going to be a great game. I can't wait to download the demo because I want to get used to those controls. So I'm sure they're going to be fucking hectic. <sighs> well, I guess that's about it for the direct side of it side of this video and now we're going to go into the fact of it's valentine's day so i want to go ahead and let all you couples out there know that i'm happy for you you guys are beautiful together and please please don't hurt each other that's not what this world world is about this world is about loving each other. Okay. And I hope you guys have found the one. I really hope you have. Because it took me quite a long time to find the one for me. Hell, I went through like freaking... I went through, let's see, mm. okay. um. I see. I had to go through about six girls just to figure out which one I really needed in my life. Now, if, you, if I have to be honest here, two of those girls I broke up with myself. The only reason I did that is because, one, I didn't see the relationship progressing at all. Like, it was nowhere near progressing to be, you know, actually true for me. The other one, however, that escalated a little too quickly. And I got very nervous, so I panicked. Yes, you guys can call me a little wuss all you want, okay? I don't care. But I have to th have things going at a steady pace. I like stability, okay? I don't really form well with change. Even though I'm going to have to deal with it. I like having a stable relationship and a stable job. Thing is, the job I have now, I have to do my own uh, hours now. Like, I have to set my own hours each day. Uh, and if you guys didn't know, I unfortunately was let go from my last job 
Um, I won't really get into the reasons of why, but, and no, no, it wasn't anything bad. I just, it was something minor that I got fired for or let go for. Um, all I do know is that now I do a food delivery service known as DoorDash. So, and yes, selfless promotion. So if you guys want to go ahead and try DoorDash for the first time, the first delivery is free. I have heard. I've heard that the first delivery is free when you do that. So at least, at least go ahead and try. Try it, and then if you like it, bam, there you go. And don't worry, I will personally be one of the people who uh, delivers to your door so you guys try it out by all means and to my people at Walmart you should try it out too it really is an awesome thing okay so, uh, that little selfless promotion, <laughs> that little uh, self-promotion there is not very, uh, I know it's not very good, but it's whatever. So, back to the whole thing of relationships and Valentine's Day. It took me six girls to find out what I really needed in my life, and... The fact of it is that I'm engaged to her, and you guys know this, and I couldn't be happier with my life right now. She's actually the pure definition of stability for me. Like, she's done nothing to hurt me. She, I know she wouldn't hurt me. She's been through the same shit I have. She knows what it's like to be hurt many times. Just like I have. And again, I... Guys, you, you don't understand. I couldn't really think of what my life would be like without her. Like seriously, I, I couldn't... I know what I have and I'm not taking it for granted. I hope you guys don't either. And for all you single people out there, don't worry. I love you guys. I really do. So for any of you single people out there, just know you're being looked after by your YouTubers. And that all you guys are beautiful inside and out and no matter if you think you're not no matter if you think you are or not you are loved by your youtubers by your family your friends everyone around you and who knows today might surprise you you may get something from someone that you never expected Keep your hopes up, okay? Everything's gonna work out. Um, let's see. So, between you and me, I do have a little surprise set up for my special lady, and well, shit, I just now remembered she subscribed to this channel. She's gonna see it. Fuck. Well, she doesn't know what it is, so I'm not saying it. <laughs> um, so as soon as this video is over, I'm probably gonna relax a little bit, go grab her present or her surprise, and everything's gonna be great.
So, um, I think that's about it for this video. So, just hopefully you guys all get surprises today. I hope that all of you are having a great day, even if you're single. Now, I did also hear about like um, either Buffalo Wild Wings or Beef O'Brady's. I don't know which one. Uh, you get free wings if you take in a picture of your ex and rip it up into pieces. Like, if you do that in front of them, you get free wings. So, hey, drown your sorrows in wings. That's always a good good idea. Hell, I'd go in there, even with Bethany. I'd take a picture of my ex. I'd rip it up for free wings, but then I'd torch it for no extra charge of wings. That's how much she was a bitch. And how much I hated her. But right now, I care less if she's in, of where she is right now. She got her karma. Let, let me just tell you, she got her karma, and I'm happy about it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I guess if anything. The only other thing I can say is you guys have a great motherfucking day. And I hope everything goes your way. If it doesn't, then hopefully you get surprised with something great. So, mwah, I love you all. You all are so fucking beautiful. You have no idea. <clears throat> So, that's it for this video. <clears throat> so, if you liked it, go ahead and feel free to press that like button. New to the channel, tickle that subscribe button for me. And don't forget, if you want to be updated weekly or sometimes weekly or updated whenever I make a video, don't forget to hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. And all of you are beautiful. All of you will still be beautiful every single day of your lives. I love you all. And this is Poison Fang, P.F. Chang, signing off. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.